Today we continue with part 13 of our high value tutorial for Java programmers and today we are going to be moving to the next part so let's switch over to part 13 again you can find all the parts at this point so let's go to part 13 to 16 retrieving oh, what is this wow. okay retrieving child records retrieving child records uh, at this point okay so the first thing we want to do is get list of users by location. Remember, we can get list of users, we can get list of locations, we can get list of posts. But how do we get list of all the users uh, for one location? So we are going to discuss that now. Pay attention because it's something really important for you to know. Um, I'd like to remind you to sub subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and also talk to me. By leaving me a comment you motivate me because uh, i enjoy making this lesson for you and if you have challenges let me know i'm going to reach out to you to help you so hit the subscribe button and also activate the notification uh, so that you don't miss an update now we are going to try to get a list of users in the location we could write a method in the location controller that takes the location id and returns the list of users in that location, right? It's easy, it's intuitive. This method is written as follows. Uh, I'm actually, maybe I'm going to copy it and paste, but before I do that, let's go to the location controller first. I'll try to write it, and then, uh, because I also, I recommend you write these things yourself instead of copying and pasting. So the name of the method is public, uh, lists of user and the list that it says get users by location and it's going to take the location ID so it's going to be integer integer uh, location ID <coughs> okay so Actually, well, it is okay. So maybe we can just call it, leave it as ID, but it's, it could actually, it's actually the location ID. So when we say get users by location, we are talking about the location ID or the ID of that location. So the mapping is going to be, take note how the mapping is going to be, get mapping. We are going to go to slash location slash, uh, the ID of the location ID and slash uh, users. So location one slash users, location two slash users, as the case may be. All right, so I'm going to put this, in the, sorry. <clears throat> so um, so what we are going to do is first, we are going to get the location object uh, we are going to get the location object and now return a list of users in that location. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to say location location is equal to location service dot get location by ID. Uh, location location is equal to location service. Dot so let's see dot find by id location service dot find by id dot find oh the name is find by id okay find by id and we give it the id okay all right so this location that is found by the location service which comes from the repository is optional location which means that it could be null, uh, it could also not be null. So, and that is one, a, a little additional code we need to write. We need to check if it's null or if it's not null. So to check if it's null or not, actually we should say if location dots is present. So if it's present, meaning it's not null, if it's present, uh, then we say return Location dot gets sorry. So 
So sometimes my system, I don't know why, this is a really good system, but sometimes this happens. I, I don't know. So let's give it a few seconds. Okay, so I'm going to return location dots get. So at this point, location dot get is the location the the location itself. Um, just for simple for simplicity and clarity, I'm going to say location new location is equal to location dot get. So once we confirm that the location is present, we get it as a new location. And then we are going to return new location dot users, users in that location, dot get users, I mean, because we need to use the getters and senders. Else, we return null. Of course, you can just write the else statement if you want. Else, we return null, nothing. So at this point, we can get lists of users in a location by going to slash location slash id slash users um let's say in instruction says relaunch the application and get and try to test it so let me save everything i'm going to relaunch the application and let's try to assess list of users in a location so again i like to go to this place head to console let me just uh, refresh this. Let's check and make sure everything is fine here. So everything is fine. So in the console, you can see it's about to start. Good. Tomcat started at this point. So if I refresh this, so if I connect, if I go to locations, okay, let me go to users. So I'm going to run this users. Permit me to add one user, additional user to location two. So I'm going to just go edit. I'm going to say one. I'm going to say user four. Uh, user four is Jaden. Uh, email. Dot com. And first name is Jaden. Last name is Mills. And we are going to add him to location two. Uh, I'm going to just accept. So we added Jaden to location two. Let's now go to our size locations at this point. Locations. So you can see locations here. I think there are four locations. If I try to, uh, I, don't, I don't really know if it's going to work. I don't know. Okay, so location one. Okay, one, two, three, four, you can see at this point. So we need. Uh, location one slash users. Location one slash users. So we, we have a problem. So location one. So it gives an error message right here. Let's see what the error is. The given ID must not be known. Oh, so at this point, we need to specify that the ID comes from the path variable. So that's some advantage of copying from the, the, the copying and pasting has advantages. So uh, let's just keep this open. So if you have problem like this, you can easily copy and paste and it works. So I'm going to say at path variable. Okay, so at path variable, it goes this way. So I'm going to re relaunch this application a second time, and we are going to try to get list of users in a particular location. So the code is very easy. Um, parts 13, 14, 14, 15, and 16 is about the same. I think that should be only uh, get list of users by location by extending JPA repository, get list of posts by user. Okay, so I think okay. Okay, so everything started. So let's go back to where we came from. So I'm going to relaunch this. I'm going to connect back again. I'm going to go to user. 
uh, run. So I'm going to add one user so, so that we make it clear. User four, uh, Jaden, Jaden, um, Mills, add to location two, accept everything. So if I now go to location and refresh, you can see that it gets me the, the user in location one. Okay, so let's try users in location two. So we expect to have two users in location two at this point. You can see two users in location two. All right, so I'm going to stop here. And in the next part, we are going to now be talking about get list of posts, posts by user. Get list of posts by user. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. And also feel free to leave me a comment. I like to read comments from my users or from my subscribers and that keeps like motivates me to keep doing this. So we see in part 14.